Welcome back you lovely bunch, thanks for tuning in, I hope you're all doing good. Right, welcome to day two of my Covid recovery. So I don't normally do like daily vlogs, but I figured whilst I'm doing this like kind of getting over Covid thing, it gives me some kind of accountability. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to document this next week of just like my recovery and how it's going. I rode for like an hour and a half yesterday. It did leave me feeling really fatigued for the rest of the day. So I think maybe an hour and a half was a little bit too much. So having learnt from my lessons, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go to the gym first, then I'm going to go for a bike ride. You know, genius. I'm only going to do half an hour in a gym, but I want to see how my body responds to actually starting to do some gym work and some weight work. I haven't actually been to the gym for two weeks, but also having had COVID, I didn't really eat that well. It really kind of knocked my appetite and I normally eat an absolute enormous amount. And so for the last like kind of week and a half, I haven't really been eating at all. So I reckon I've actually lost kilos. So we'll get in the gym and give ourselves a weight. I'm normally 80, 81 kilos. And honestly, I reckon I've lost like a little tiny bit. Doesn't really matter, I'm not really a weight weenie, I don't really care about how much I weigh. Weight for me is just purely, well, a number. I'm not doing any specific workouts, I'm not targeting any specific part of my body. Let's go to the gym, then come back, and then we'll go for a bit of a bike ride. Right, let's go, off to the gym. Any time I do exercise at the moment, I get really cold. I don't know if it's just cold because it's cold outside or cold because it's fatigue. Maybe that's a sign that I shouldn't be going for a bike ride. Gym was a bit tiring, but like I'd expect it to be tiring. I haven't done it for like two weeks, so like your body has to readjust to it. I did do 30 minutes, I was really good. I just did some real simple, easy light workouts. I didn't want to do anything too hard. This is just like a taster session for me. I have lost weight as well. I've lost about two kilos, I think, over the last two weeks. I don't know how accurate that is. I don't know if you can lose two kilos in two weeks. Definitely dropped down like at least one kilo due to COVID and not eating. Me. Look what I got. This is completely off subject. Look at this stem. Can you see this? Marin sent me this nice shiny stem. Can you see that? This is awesome. I was going to put this on my track lacrosse bike, but it's actually a bit mountain bikey, isn't it? So I might actually put this on my mountain bike and put the mountain bike one on my track lacrosse bike. Anyway, that's not what we're going to talk about. We're going to get ready. We're going to get ready. I'm going to get ready and we're going to take the gravel bike out, I think, for a little bit of a ride. Nothing too crazy again easing back into it slowly. Yeah, catch you guys in a second, which will be literally a second for you, but a little bit longer for me, because inevitably I'm gonna have to try and find a base layer or something would have gone missing. So yeah, I'll check back in with you in a second. Okay, we're only like 10 minutes in. Oh my God, I love bikes. I definitely, definitely don't feel 100%. Like physically anyway. Like mentally, when I get out on a bike, like 110%, 120, just a lot, you know? It's such a good de-stressor, isn't it? For me, being active and exercising definitely, definitely goes hand in hand with me having like good mental health. But because I'm quite an energetic person, like when I can't do anything, oh my God. I really irritate myself, <laughs> I really do. But what a gorgeous day. I mean, it's cold, but it's not like too cold. And like yesterday, it's kind of fresh and it's dry, so who's gonna complain? My track lacrosse bike, I've nearly got all the bits. So stay here, I've been building me some awesome wheels. Um, I've had to find a crank. So I need to find a 165 crank, so I don't want like pedal strike, but I don't want to use a track crank because the BCD on a track crank, the smallest chain ring I think you can put on is like a 47 or something, and I don't want to run that big a chain ring. We'll see, but that's the plan for now. What a love, oh, honestly, look at this place. Look at it. And would you believe there's a prison right there? It's not the worst place for a prison, is it? At least got a good view. I mean, it's better than like being in prison in London. I mean, not that being in prison anywhere is good. At least you got a view, right? Part of the downside of like really liking riding bikes is that 
when I maybe should relax a little bit, I tend to push it a bit hard. So today, I need to be good. I suppose I should say a little thank you. Look at these horses. Go and say hello. To Let's go say hello. Let's go say hello. I can't speak. Look at these horses. Let's go say hello. So making friends as always. You good? Look at these guys. <laughs> see you later, guys. So see you later to the horses. There you go. Sorry, I had to stop to like give the horse a little. Look how dusty they are. So dusty. Um, nature. Love it. I do love living in the countryside. Honestly, this is why I moved out of London. God, look at it. What was I saying before I got distracted by the shiny, fluffy horses? Shiny and fluffy. They weren't even shiny and fluffy. Some of the words I come out with just don't make sense. Oh yeah, I was gonna say thank you. Thank you for like all your nice comments. You guys are a lovely bunch. You really are. All the well wishing and telling me that I'm right and the girlfriend's wrong, much appreciated. So your comments lead me to this conclusion, right? COVID is very, very different for every person. Some people have had like three days off riding. Other people have had like three months off and like long COVID affects people in different ways, like short COVID or whatever you call it, normal COVID affects people in different ways. So I don't think we can have one generic form of like recovery from such a like illness but like this isn't my first illness isn't my first injury i've had to come back to full strength after like having cancer after having like nerve damage in my back like spinal injuries the one thing that i can draw from all these different things is that you need to do it at your own pace and whilst i suppose i'm kind of irresponsible like everything i do is like very meticulously planned i mean i'm gonna be honest that's a complete lie I don't meticulously plan anything. I think it through. It's meticulously thought through. It's not necessarily planned. I, I definitely think about it and, and take that into consideration. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Let me just stop. I'm going down a hill and it's really windy. I'm going to stop and talk to you. Um, sorry, I shouldn't talk to you with my glasses off, but honestly, it's really cold and my eyes are running. So I guess my point is that like we can't all like recover from COVID the same and we can't all be expected to recover from illness the same. That you have to like use a bit of common sense and you have to know your body. I think for me, because I've had a lot of time to recover for various different reasons, reasons that I have become quite in tune to like to what my body can do and can't do like this feeling tired and then this feeling like well overly tired and fatigued and I think like feeling tired is not a bad thing because that means you've been doing something whereas when you're like massively fatigued and you can't actually do anything then you're doing too much I'm kind of teetering on the fence at the moment you know like I'm trying not to do too much but I'm also trying to get fitness back and also not go mad by sitting at home you know as, as per usual like I did tell the girlfriend what I'm doing today and I was like I'm gonna go to the gym and I'm gonna do a bike ride and then she kind of had a massive go at me and told me that I'm gonna be really useless and have no energy and and, and be really tired and I'm going to not get in sick because I'm doing too much and then I was like well look I'm only doing half an hour in the gym and I'm only doing like a little half an hour bike ride she did suggest that rather than go for a bike ride why don't I go for a nice steady leisurely walk instead and then I did explain that me just riding around at like 100 watts is basically exactly the same as a leisurely walk do you, do you know what I mean it is right like a really leisurely cycle is very much I think actually a leisurely walk because I don't do walking would tire me out more than cycling. I've only done like 20 minutes riding. I've done a lot of chatting. We've done half an hour in the gym. I think this is the ideal recovery from COVID. Every time I do go up a hill though, and I hit just over like 350 watts, I do feel like my lungs are going to implode. So I'm trying to stay under 350 watts. But again, it's learning my limitations. Hopefully this isn't a permanent thing because that will kind of screw my FTP. Yeah, there we go. There's my long-winded way of saying that like, don't do too much too soon. Trust your body and just don't listen to other people. Or maybe do listen to other people. Listen to other people if they tell you what you want to hear. There we go. Right, let's carry on with this ride. I'm going to be really good. I'm only going to do 30, 35 minutes. There we go. 35, that's like... I'm giving myself five extra minutes because I'm enjoying myself. And then tomorrow, I'm going to try and do two hours riding. Don't know about the gym, maybe no gym and just two hours riding. Seeing as we're doing these dailies, I'm going to get you guys to help me decide on my workouts. So the options tomorrow are two hour ride or an hour in the gym and an hour ride. You guys let me know. Let me know down below. I need to start taking care of myself, you know, and being better because I'm 42 next week. Would you believe it? Would you believe it? I'm 42. Yes, yeah, so there you go. There's a reason to give me a sub as a birthday present. There we go. Lots of sub requests this week. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here because I'm just around the corner from the house. I'm going to enjoy these last five minutes on my own. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys very soon. Right. Bye, 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 bye.